Thank you very much, uh, Minister. Um, thanks uh, for for taking this uh, 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 debate here this evening. Um, I suppose first of all, you were talking about flooding, and um, there's a lot of uh, talk back over the years that climate change is the cause of of of, of our rivers flooding, and that is going to create more havoc. But I don't agree with that, uh, Minister, because the reason our rivers are flooding is because they're not being cleared. And um, farmers can't clear rivers, as, as you know, because of the cross-compliance, they lose their farm payments. And we had one example of that in, in, in Kerry, the Flesh River. And I'm very grateful to the man that, that came down when I bought uh, when I asked him to visit in Flesk and Castle Island, uh, Kevin Boxer Morn and Michael asked him to go other places and he came down and he, he, he met with us. And as a, as a result, we got money to clear part of the Flesk River. And what had been happening up until that, houses were being flooded. The na in 22, the National Primary Road was flooded several, several times. In 15 and 16, and since it was cleared uh, last year now, and there's been several floods, the road wasn't flooded once. And there was no house flooded since either. And sea farms and Torbans and all these fellas, uh, consultants said to clear the river would only make some uh, small amount of millimeters of a difference. The facts are it have lowered the, 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 the flooding by meters and the road is not in jeopardy, and the emergency services can go back and forth now to Cork Hospital and Tralee Hospital and the different, uh, we'll say, uh, emergency vehicles. They can all get by, and our national primary route into Kerry is no longer flooded. And I have to especially thank Kevin Boxer Morton for agreeing to that and give us the funding for that. And uh, following several years of deputations by myself and uh, Councillor Mara Healy Ray and, and the residents of the entire Flesk area uh, several times in Kerry County Council, and uh, that was the result of that. But however, I'm, I, I'm clearly asking you, Minister, the rest of the Flesh River needs to be cleaned, cleaned out. And the, the river from Killarney to Killarney, which is called the Lone River, and that badly needs to be cleaned out because uh, even uh, the, the Lake Hotel was flooded and it cost millions at their own expense to repair it and replace it. I'm asking you please not to allow that to happen again. The Lone River needs to be cle cleared out. There's places like uh, Castle Island, the, the, the main river was cleaned cleaned out 60 years ago and it was grand up until a few years ago and it needs to be cleaned again. But what are the sea from suggesting? To spin millions and to build a floodplain in the, somewhere near the town to hold the water rather than clearing the river. The Brogeen, the Dlonsharoon and the Crag River and uh, the Guiston River, uh, all those rivers need to be cleared. And, and um, when we talk about rivers, we must talk about pollution. And there's a lot of talk about the environment, and maybe people think that I don't appreciate my in the environment. I certainly do, but I don't subscribe to this thing uh, of climate change. And uh, but I do uh, sincerely ask, and there's no mention of it that I can see in the program for government of our sewage treatment plants uh, need to be built where there are known places like Kilcommon. Coro, Scottish Lane, no, no treatment plant. Places like Castle Island have been waiting for 40 years for an extension to the treatment plant. And we're talking about pollution there when, when, when you have wet weather and, and nowhere for, uh, they, 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 they have to clean out the septic tanks there uh, on a fortnightly or, or a monthly uh, basis when you have wet weather in Castle Island. And 40 years that's going on for Minister. Um, sea, sea Frams and Tobins, uh, they, 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 they have reports done in places like Linfleshk and they said we couldn't 
uh, there are applicants being denied planning permission and uh, it's unfair because they're citing that, 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 that a said field could be flooded in a hundred years or maybe a thousand years and I mean uh, the people that want to build houses now for themselves will be long gone maybe before before ever a flood will come again but if the river is kept cleared it won't it won't flood them and and that's what what I want to drive home to minister um, very disappointed in the program for government where the uh, and we'll say the green party's program for government Planning for people in rural Ireland is to be denied only in, in, in towns or, or, or villages where there's public transport. We don't have public transport like you have in cities. And the quadrupling of the carbon tax to 100 euros will, uh, over the next 10 uh, turn, will have a massive adverse effect for people in rural areas who do not have the same options for transport or heating as those in urban areas. Uh, Offshore renewables, we're hearing a lot about that. But why don't you just start with the easy things, uh, like solar panels? Many farmers and, and, in Kerry have been granted planning permission for solar panels. But there's no scheme to pay them for their electricity at the present time. And they're waiting for three and four years for some planning guidelines to come that, that are being promised day after day. And, and they haven't come. And as well, waiting for the the scheme to pay them for, for, their, uh, for the energy that they would supply. Minister, there's a lot of talk about, uh, about um, carbon and, and, and it's, uh, the people out there are scared of their lives of what's going to happen to them over the next uh, number of years uh, if this government goes ahead. They're absolutely terrified. People need their cars and they need surety. And uh, they need uh, something that's affordable and, and, uh, and re reliable. And until such time that the electric cars prove themselves, uh, may, then people will buy them. And, 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 and they'll give them a fair, a fair chance. But it's wrong to be forcing people down the road that he can't drive anything, only electric cars. That's the wrong way to go about it. You're talking about uh, heating and stopping people of cutting turf. I have to say to you, we cut turf every year, Minister. It's not an easy job. You have to cut it, you have to turn it, you have to foot it, you have to stook it, you have to bring it home, you have to bring it into the fire, you have to take out the ashes. But a lot of people are proud to do that and they have no other, they can't afford anything else. And while they're able to do it, they'll do it. I know one elderly man said to me the other day, I suppose I won't be able to do it for much longer. I'll have to get oil or get something else. And, um, but they're proud to do that and, and they can, that's all they can afford. And it's wrong to stop people of, 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 doing, of doing the things. And, and maybe the next generation or the generation after won't look at a bog or, or go there. And, and, and maybe there'll be different ways at that time. But it's, it is wrong to be forcing things on people, and it's wrong the way this, uh, the, this uh, program, the green program for government, is um, uh, being put out there. People are terrified of it. Um, you are a minister in this government, and it's prophesied that you will be a minister in the next government as well. And um, I'm asking you, minister, what, how are publicans or restaurants or whatever supposed to, it came out this morning that uh, you can only allow a person to stay in a pub for 90 minutes. How can publicans be reasonably asked to monitor that? I mean, a fellow comes in uh, for a point and whatever, and, and maybe he goes out smoking or something, and there's a few around. It's not possible for someone inside the bar uh, to keep tabs on, on every fellow. And he'll come in, he, he, we'll say the 29th of June, he's supposed to have a meal and, and ask for a meal, but he'll come in and he'll sit down, give me a point, and, and you'll, ask, you'll, you'll show him the menu, and it's, there's, a, there's someone else coming, supposed to come with me, and he's waiting, he'll have the point drank, maybe he'll have a second point drank before the second person comes. How are publicans and restaurants 
so much to uh, ma manage that. And I, I don't have enough time, Minister, but uh, people out there are, are, are very suspicious that there's no costing for the programme for government. And you're dealing with finance for, 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 for the last four years. But uh, you, 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 can't, um, you can't sell something to the people out there if we're not giving figures and facts and where the money is going to come from. Thank you, Thank you very much, Minister. Yeah.